Hello, how are you beautiful people today? Today I'm going to show you how to get the Phantom device in Fallout 76. And we'll talk about what it is and why it's a must have at the end of the video. First thing you need to do is acquire the Phantom device plan. This requires you to start the quest line into the mystery. So to get this rolling, we need to travel to the AVR Medical Center. Find your way to the front of the building. Directly to the right, you should see an alleyway. Go ahead, walk down the alley, until you find a body named Young Woman on the left side. She should have a damaged hollow tape and a worn veil. Go ahead and take both. This will prompt an audio log and start the quest into the mystery. Riverside Manor. You should now have a map marker leading you to the Riverside Manor. Go to your map and make your way to the manor. If you fast traveled, you should spawn just down the hill in front of the manor. Go through the front door. Once inside, there will be a waypoint leading you up the stairs into a small room. The waypoint should be on a computer named Study Terminal. Now, you can go through the whole terminal learning about what's going on or you can immediately go to the personal journal section and select the entry 62977. Once you read that entry, your quest should update telling you to search the front parlor while wearing the veil you found on the young woman. So hop into your pit boy and equip the worn veil under apparel. This is what it looks like. Now, immediately run back down the stairs and take your first right into the parlor room. Here, you should see a long rug on the left side of the room. Walk down that rug towards the wall with the veil on and the secret door will open. Make your way through the secret door and down some stairs, through some laser grids and through a wall that opens and you'll find yourself in the secret lair. Now, the Into the Mystery quest should be completed, but this prompts another quest, Initiative Mysteries. Go ahead and hop on the large terminal named Kryptos in the center of the room and press New Initiate Registration. At this point, hop off the terminal and make your way to the left side of the secret layer to the fabrication station. Here, you will need to repair the veil you have on. It will become the Veil of Secret. Heads up, this is exactly the same as the one before. This is what it looks like. Now hop into your pit boy and play the hollow tape, the Order of the Mysteries Rank Initiate. Welcome to the Order of Mysteries. I'm sure you're a little nervous. I know, it's a lot to take in. But the girls wouldn't have invited you here if they didn't think you were ready. After this, You'll make your way back to Kryptos, and you'll look for the section Database Queries, and click the Mentor Assignment. From here, you need to make your way to Lewisburg. If you fast travel, you will spawn just outside the city, make your way to the center of town, where at some point a small market was set up, something like a farmer's market. You need to find an area with an ice cream sign at the west Foster Street Junction. Walk towards the ice box you see, and in this small alley, you should find the body of Natasha Hunt next to a Nuka Cola machine. Search her remains and collect her login for Kryptos and the Order of Mysteries Lewisburg Hollow. The hollow tape will automatically play, telling you about the raider problem Natasha Hunt was sent to deal with. If you look up, you'll see a dead raider peeking over the top of a building. Hi, how are you? You can complete the optional part of the mission by searching the raider's body on the roof. There'll be a note there as well. You then want to make your way back to the manor and get back to Kryptos. Use Natasha's login to give yourself a promotion by going into the administration section and promoting unknown user, that's you. Now, you need to log out and log back into your section, unknown user, to get your promotion. This should complete the Initiative Mysteries quest line and then present you with the Novice of Mysteries quest. At this point, we wanna run over to the fabricator and make a new armor set called the Garb of Mysteries. Here's what it looks like. 
Now, listen to the hollow tape. Order of Mysteries, Rank Novice. Congratulations, dear. I'm sorry, I can't be with you today. Make your way back to Kryptos and open the section Mission Board. Here you can select the Phantom device. Also, you can grab the blade and voice set if you'd like. Now you should have unlocked the quest Chasing Shadows, which is what we've been after the whole time. Open your Pip-Boy and listen to the Order of Mysteries Phantom Device holotape. You will need to look in Cryptos under Database to find the Phantom Device parts. So hop in there, take a look. You'll need a Stealth Boy and a Hallucigen Gas Canister to craft the Phantom Device. Fortunately, these two items will be marked on your map. Our first stop is the Garahan Mining Headquarters. Make your way there. If you fast travel, you will spawn next to a parking lot with a lot of dangerous robots. Take them down if you want. Or quickly make your way to the entrance of the building to your left. Once inside, there will be more robots. Again, kill them if you want or sneak by. It's up to you. You will want to make your way to the back of the facility where you will find a room behind two large sliding doors. In the back right of this room, you should find a safe with lockpick level 2. Once unlocking the safe, you should have your first hallucinogen canister. Next, go back to your map, make your way to the stealth boy. I was sent to the North Cutthroat Camp, a Blood Eagle location. Kill the enemies around, or sneak by, it's up to you. I follow my waypoint after killing the Blood Eagles and open a foot locker, the level zero lock, interesting, and I collect my stealth boy. Now you wanna make your way back to the manor. Head directly to the fabricator and build your first phantom device. You'll complete the Chasing Shadows quest line, and you will now have the ability to craft phantom devices at any tinkerer's workbench under the section buff. You will need one adhesive, one copper, one hallucinogen canister, and one stealth boy to craft more of these devices. Side note, the stealth boy mark three will not work to craft phantom devices. You need the regular old Stealth Boy. So now, I'm going to show you a few places to find Stealth Boys and the Hallucigen Canisters. Our first location is Berkeley Springs. If you fast travel, you have to run through town to the Bloody Franks building, which looks like this. On top of the building, you'll find an area with a bathtub full of plates and a blue barrel. On top of the blue barrel, there should be one sneaky boy. I mean stealth boy. Next, we want to head to Bolton Greens. Head inside the main building and get to the second floor of the function room. The function room is the large room with the walkway on the second floor. Be aware, there are a lot of scorch to kill in this area. There should be a broken display case on the second floor that has one more stealth boy to collect. Next, we'll make our way to Grafton Dam. Here you can find another stealth boy, next to the terminal outside, but fairly often someone has already grabbed this one. But the benefit to this area is you can also find hallucinogen gas canisters. I happen to find two on the walkway outside facing the large dam. Additionally, I have a list of locations to find Stealth Boys if you would like it. It's a good farming path. Check these places out. And alternatively, here is a map with Stealth Boys marked. This map is only helpful if you can look at it closer, so I will link it down in the description below. Also, here is a list of canister locations as well. And a map of the locations. Again, I will link the map in the description below. So now we have a few materials to craft a few phantom devices. 
First thing we want to do is equip the super duper perk level 3. It will give you a 30% chance to craft double the amount of devices. Hop in the tinkerer's workbench, go down to buff, and craft your sweet sweet devices. I crafted two of them. Super duper kicked in, so I crafted three in total. And then I had one from the quest line, so a total of four. Now, before we use this device, there is a perk that will greatly benefit you while using it. Secret Agent, specifically level 3. If this perk is equipped, this phantom device will give you a stealth field for 2 minutes, and the frenzy effect that goes along with the phantom device will last 15 seconds. Now, here I'm going to show you what the device does. I equipped the phantom device to my favorites wheel, so I can quickly use it if needed. I'm in the event, a colossal problem and I intentionally got a whole bunch of Wendigo spawns to chase me. Unfortunately, I went down because I didn't hit the device fast enough, but it showcases the effect pretty nicely. I use the phantom device, go down, it turns me invisible, but as you can see, all the Wendigo spawn freak out a bit and appear to be attacking one another, ignoring any other teammates in the area. This is what the frenzy does. It lasts for 15 seconds which is a great way to get out of a tough situation quickly. I also have two minutes of stealth. That's just helpful. Especially in power armor, two minutes of stealth is very nice. Because the Wendigos were frenzied, my teammate had the chance to pick me up without going down themselves. I do use one more phantom device right after I get picked up. You can see all the Wendigo spawns stop in their tracks and turn towards each other once again, giving my teammate the chance to mow them all down. So. That's the phantom device. I think it's a must have. You can have a stealth field for a very long time in power armor and it frenzies enemies. So if you're in a tough spot, it kind of freaks them all out and you can knock them all out. So that's it, the phantom device. If you found this video helpful, do let me know down in the comments below and hit that like button. It sure does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and bell notification and check out my Fallout 76 playlist on my channel. Anyway, that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Later.